I was thinking you just brought me to wave particle duality, yeah, yeah. but I don't know if that's too hard to. Well, that's a similar thing. You 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 uh, do a, a certain experiment, and the electron behaves as if it's extended thing, a wave. You do another sort of experiment, and it behaves as if it's a particle, a localized thing. So light. So I guess is it there was a time in science where people were you all were yeah. like things are either act like an ocean's wave. Yeah. Where they act sort of like a pool table, yeah. where the balls bang yeah, on right. each other yeah. and move each other yeah. around. Yeah. And the question on the table was, which one is light? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, light, light, light can behave like a particle, or like a photon, or it can behave like a wave, and it depends upon the context in which you ask the question. And didn't that blow people's minds? Oh, it did. Is that yeah, impossible? Yeah, yeah, Things yeah, were usually yeah. either like black or white, or yeah, this or yeah, that, yeah. and then suddenly it was both. Yeah, and then the thing is, you say, well, what is the reality? And, and, and uh, Heisenberg would say, well, the reality is the mathematics. But then Bohr would say, wait a minute, though. No. If, if I start to, uh, to talk to you about the mathematics, we're using ordinary language. And ordinary language contains all sorts of assumptions about space and time and causality from our large-scale world, because that's where we live in. That's how the language evolved in a large-scale world. So really, if Bohr said we're suspended in language. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's up and we don't know what's down. If we start to talk about quantum reality, what we're doing is importing all sorts of ideas from our large-scale world that don't really fit. So we're just going to end up with confusion.